All right, I wanted to do a quick video here on basically the differences between attaching a file to an email in Power Automate and attaching a file to an approval in Power Automate. Uh, so I have this existing flow uh, where I'm getting a file, uh, I'm sorry, a form submission with a file upload. We're sending the submitter an email saying thank you for submitting these files and attaching those files so they know exactly which files they uh, uploaded. And I'm not going to go through the details of this. I've, gone, I've shown it in other videos, so I'll refer you to those for kind of the, the basics of how to set this up. But just to, to show you the parts that we're concerned with, uh, basically we have a variable called var files. We are parsing the using the parse JSON action to convert the response data from the file upload question into a proper JSON array. And then for each item in that JSON array, we are getting the metadata, getting the file content, and then appending it into this array variable for the email um, with name and content bytes. And great, that works beautifully for the purpose of sending the email. Now, if we want to also start an approval on those documents or those files that were uploaded, we can create an approval. And I've just set this to first to respond, testing approval attachments, or assigning it to the responder. So again, not an ideal use case because most times you're not going to ask people to approve their own things, but you might. Uh, and then I'm just going to go into the attachments here, switch to the array view, and attach that same var files. All right easy peasy let's set that and save that and let's go into our form and I'm just going to attach a file Let me find some let's attach this waffles image file easy enough attach that and we'll say send by email and submit it and that's it now let's take a look at that flow running so we've got it's running and it failed now if I go and look at my email there is the file that I attached there's those lovely waffles um, but I didn't get the approval email and the flow itself failed so let's take a look at what happened and when we open it up and look at the error details, it says the request content was invalid and could not be deserialized, could not find member content bytes on object of type, approvals, connector, attachment, path, blah, 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 blah. Basically what it's saying is that the format or the way that that array was formatted uh, for attaching the files to the approval didn't work. So there's a problem there. Now let's let's take a look at the attachments approval attachments function uh, or, or action here and see what we actually need. So if I show the advanced options and get rid of our files here and I switch this back to detail inputs and I'll just put in name one content one and if I switch back to the array view, it's showing you what it wants that array to look like. So we have a small and, you know, name and content, not content byte. So comparing that, if we take a look at this and then go back up to where we are building that array variable and the apply to each, we've got capital N name and capital C content with the word bytes after it. So basically what we need to do is create another variable and reformat this into the appropriate format for the approval attachment. Uh, all right, so we got this. Um, just for simplicity, I'm gonna copy that because we will need it momentarily and then I'm just going to blank that out. Now the first thing we need to do is create another variable. We can't use the same variable twice here so we need to create another variable and we'll just call this var files approval 
and again make that an array just like the other one so we'll let me copy that paste all right now we'll go back into our scope because now we have that new array to fill up with the appropriate format so we will add a new action here and it'll be the same thing append to array and we'll select var files approval and here and I need to control V that this is the format that we want uh, but of course we need to put in the proper values for name one and content one so for name one we will select name and we want the name of the file or folder easy enough and for content we want the content from that get file content and it'll be just file content now just to demonstrate the difference here though so this is the array for the email so var files is going to go be used for the email and we've got name content bytes name body um, that's a little weird uh, but for the approval we have small n name small c content without bytes so that should all work so let me just save this And now we can test this. And actually, I'm just going to test it by using a recently that failed flow. So let's test this. Oh, that's not going to work because, well, it is going to work, but it's going to, it's not going to attach the files because we didn't do the final step. Uh, so let's, let's edit this again. And let's go into that create an approval and in the attachment so this is where we want to select var files approval and hit save now let me just cancel that flow that's running that actually it did succeed so it did generate that approval flow or the approval object so if I look over here we've got thanks for your submission and then in the my other I have the approvals uh, but without the attachment so let's yeah. let's try this one more time let me open up that actually we'll go we'll submit a different form we'll submit a new response uh, we'll grab a different we'll grab this word document click open send via email submit and then we can watch that flow run it's running it's running it succeeded so if I take a look it's all green we have all green check marks beautiful and there is my thanks for your submission of one files there's the file and the approval is going over to my flow or my I'm sorry the other inbox here and we'll see here's that approvals and there is that attachment so fantastic so it's that little difference the content versus content bytes and it'd be great if Microsoft's teams all got on the same page and used the same format for attachments in all of the different places that attachments are used but they don't so that's just something we need to handle um, so there you go that's that's the the gist of it and just to kind of close with the exact format that you need to change or the exact thing you need to change. Let me actually go back to edit here um, just for the freeze frame effect. So when you are attaching, creating the attachment variable array for an email, this is the format you want to use. And when you are creating that array for a, an approval attachment, this is the format you want to use. So there you go. Um, hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, problems, throw them in the comments down below and have a great day.